happy Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. To God be the glory. Be yet another beautiful day. I was just asking my son, um, what's the secret? He looks good, not only externally, but most of all, it seems like you have an internal glow. And you said that you worked out, you had some good meals, home cooked. And what else? Cold shower. Cold shower. Anyway, the countenance is bright, and uh, that's a blessing. Well, with new beginnings, except that one issue, but that's okay. You're good. Um, we're in a brand new book, and we are in Job. We know that this is a long story about the highs and the lows. For we know that the Lord is the God of the hills and the valleys, the good times and when we are suffering. So, Job 1 and also Proverbs 20. Which one do you want to go to first, son? Well, what did you get out of Job 1? Um, not much from the first chapter. Not much? That means you didn't read it. I did. Something that we were discussing earlier is how when people are sometimes yoked up with uh, relationships, friendships, and if there is a breach, a breaking up, how some people can't handle and this is just real life maybe it's their first true love or their connection or maybe a soul tie was formed and we know how it is like you have two pieces of paper and you have glue that glued them right but we know the glue is when you bring two you're talking about physical bodies and then you try to separate the pieces of paper with that glue and it has dried up, don't we know that the pieces of the other paper will still appear on the first piece of paper? So that person's uh, leftovers, um, the hurt, it's never a clean break because, because a lot of times they have formed a union. And that's why it's so important for a person to fill themselves up, to build themselves up within themselves in the most holy faith, in God's values, in God's presence, and his esteem. So that when, if someone changes their mind, like, you know what, I don't want to be with you, whether it's a divorce, a separation, a breakup, that person will be fine so they won't, feel the tearing of the soul and the tearing of the heart and then a piece of them is left with that person and then if you you know join union with this person this person this person then there's a piece there and there and there mm -mm. listen we have to be able to declare what job said in verse 21 he said naked came i out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return. I came here with nothing, <laughs> no affiliations, and I'm gonna return by myself. And it says, the Lord gave, he blessed, and he took away. So even if they're relationships, families, friendships, whatever, but the bottom line is can we say, blessed be the name of the Lord whether there are additions or subtractions, whether there are multiplications or divisions or divorce. Can we say blessed be the name of the Lord? Woo, when we can come to that, we can have perfect peace where we can recover easier. What do you have to say about that? Because your generation and even much younger, the teenagers, they go hard. They, they, they're, they're just doing stuff that married folks of 30 years, you know, well, how they celebrate their anniversary. They're doing that in three month anniversaries, dating. And, and, and it's messing up a lot, of, a lot of people. We have to be able to build ourselves up. And then when you have two whole people come together, look, two 
pieces of paper. So then when they depart, boom, they just go their separate way. And then they wish each other the best. And then if they see each other along the line years, hey, how you doing? Oh, good, I'm glad. Same here, I'm doing well. Not the fracture, not the breached hearts and, 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 and the all oh, brokenness. Woo! But guess what? In Psalms 147.3, the Lord heals the broken heart. He, he wounds, he, he, he binds that which has been wounded and he will give us joy and peace. Well, Proverbs 20, because today is July 20th. Did you read that, son? Mm -hmm. What spoke to you? 10. 10 says, divers weights and divers measures, both of them are alike, abomination to the Lord. Mm. What do you have to say about say, that? Say it in another version. Well, in another version of Proverbs 20, verse 10, it says, A double standard of weights and measures, both are disgusting to the Lord. Okay, because double standards are wrong. Mm -hmm. And show everybody to the same standard. Mm -hmm. um, because like, just a lot of problems come from that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, everybody should be judged equally. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Just be consistent. And look, all we are old and all we old people are just a love. Love. First Corinthians, is it 13? Just love each other. Love your enemies. Love is patient. Love is kind. It's not rude. It's not self seeking. Just give that to people across the board. So, like I said, if there's a breakup, you still can be consistent. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Bye. And no hard feelings. God will show you how. All right. Anything else? God will give you that peace and joy. And that's for all of us because all of us have dealt with uh, hurt feelings and, and closure. But God will fill that empty space with his presence. Good night. Enjoy the presence of the Lord.